Oh, the last bonus episode, finally! Welcome back, everybody, to Mario Party 4's bonus. This is the OCF day 406, and now we're gonna do Bob Bomb Xing, or crossing, as it should be said. A bunch of Bob Bombs are walking around, trying not to get caught in their explosions. Oh, I'm a jaywalker. Oh, I'm so illegal. Oh, man. Why do they call it jaywalking? How have I not looked that up before? Oh, God, this is horrifying. So, yeah, basically, in this, you just want to avoid the bombs for as long as you can. I don't know if you can touch them either. I think it's better not to. I think you can touch them, but it's better that you... Yeah, you can. Just don't be around them when they explode. Also, they stand still, you can't move them, so yeah. It's not too hard, but, well, just be careful. You know, it feels like this turned into a typical Mario Party minigame at some point. Oh, the running ones are the worst. These are the worst ones. They run at you and try to lock on you. Oh, shit, forgot to move. It's better that I ended it early, though. And it doesn't matter how you lose, you lose somehow. So yeah, Bob I'm Crossing, that's what that is. A dark, depressing time. Here's the results. Survive 42 seconds, and ranking is, well, it's a jaywalker still. Why am I happy to be a jaywalker? Who cares? Man, I didn't even get one rank higher. And the last one is Goomba Stop. Hop in a robot and get those Goombas. This one is actually kind of fun. Get in the robot and stomp on as many Goombas as you can and then the time limit. Go forward, back, and change your direction. I'm not footloose. I'll tell you, show you just how good I am. It's not any faster than in the minigame, but... Well... Well, a little bit faster, I guess. So yeah, we get to torment the Goombas more, because screw them. Nobody cares for them. They all deserve to die. They don't even run in fear of this thing. They just run around. There you go. This ought to work. Oh, I almost got you. I can finish you off. 42 will do. I killed your brethren. Why are you all watching in excitement? <laughs> Once Pop out treated like, Is she gone yet? Is she gone yet? Oh, God! Oh, man. That was fun. So I kicked stop for two Goombas. What is my ranking kind, Womp? Pitter patter pounder. Pitter patter pounder. Okay, pitter patter. Sorry. Sorry, I can't read. Ooh, that's actually a bad thing. All right, let's end with the last one. Jigsaw jittery. So I will show off every single one because each one is a different thing. Put the scrambled piece of the puzzle together to form a picture. Rotate a piece, move a piece. It's it's basically like that. Uh, you remember the uh. The one four-player minigame, it's basically that by yourself in a more complex setting. So here's your picture. You gotta put it together. To get that plate, you gotta do it under a minute. Just analyze the shapes and you'll be fine. Oh, yeah, by the way, you can't cheat. All you do is kind of pause to give yourself some time to think, but... Well, other than that, you're kind of, you're kind of boned. You just gotta know where everything goes. Thankfully, you have the piece shapes to help you out, but sometimes even that, those aren't enough. This one's really easy, so getting this one in a minute really isn't a problem. It's definitely the simplest of them. The other ones, you'll be pressed for time to get those plates that you need. Uh, wait. I had it right the first time. I'm an idiot. Wow. Wow. This is actually really easy, compared to last time. I don't know why. Last time I thought it was a... Actually, well, looking at the time, you wouldn't think that I thought this was easier. Maybe a little bit. New record. So yeah, that's all you gotta do. It's just that. I have to show off every picture, though, so we're gonna do all of them. Sorry. And, well, depending on how fast you are in all of them, you get a certain, um, thing. Puzzle Pacemaker, I guess, is a good rank. I wouldn't say it's the best, but... It's good. You're a puzzle paste maker! Hey, I can make pieces of puzzles! What? 
Yeah! Alright, next is 30 piece. This one's kind of hard. It's like artwork for the game, though, which is kind of cool. I don't mind the artwork. See, this one's a little weird because now there's people are upside down. You just gotta remember which ones. This is where it gets a little hard. Yay, mommy! As long as you see the shapes and where they go, though, they can tell where each character is. You'll probably be all right. He's got to remember where everybody goes. Shit. Which, as you can see, I don't know that very well. Oh, well. I don't care about winning that badly. <laughs> I already got this thing solved before, so who cares if I don't get it under two minutes. Uh, uh... Shit. It kind of sucks to give you the pieces randomly, though, so you can't really, like, choose what piece you want to go with. Come on, even Banjo Kazooie did that right. Come on, get with it, Mario Party. <laughs> Completely unrelated. But I'll complain anyway, just to be a complete dick. Yeah, I know where that is. It's right there. Okay. It was right the first time. There's my bay. Uh. I can't believe I just called her that. Oh well, she's easy to distinguish. Of course I remember where she is. What kind of monster would I be if I didn't know where she was? She's my favorite Mario World princess. I know it's a little ridiculous. Everybody loves Rosalina. I think she's a little overrated. Could be wrong. She's kind of cute. She's, uh... Interesting, I guess. Alright, there's not like a lot of peel on her. Maybe it's that I think she looks a bit like a teenager. With her rebel hairdo. I don't know. She's not appealing to me as Daisy. Daisy's a nice tomboy who's also quite pretty. Also, I think I'm a fan of brunettes. That's probably also a bit of it. She's the most interesting. Her makeup changed a little bit. Ooh, Puzzle Pioneer! All right, good, I upgraded a little bit. It's all believing in the daisy. It's all it was. And now for the last one. This one can be quite stressful. It's not really that hard, but, well, there's a lot of open space that can make it very confusing to figure out where to put some of the pieces. That will be the tough part. See, if you can't tell where a piece goes, you're in deep shit. Oh, wow. They made the start of this very easy, though. Dang. It's good I can tell where... how their faces are supposed to be, so that helps, I guess. There you are, Wario. Sorry. I, I lost your place a little bit. Sorry, sometimes it's hard for me to distinguish how you people go about things. Whatever. Uh. Oh, wait, that's a rainbow. So it should be facing like this, maybe? Ah, oh, crap. Damn it! Don't worry, I know where you are. You're in the corner. Uh, shoot. See, this is the hard one because it's really hard to find some of them. So all this in three minutes can be a little ridiculous. Damn it, that was a Wario thing. I didn't even notice. Oh, well, I guess that's my fault. For not knowing everything perfectly about this. Oh, that's a dick one right there. Come on with that. How kind of monster would I be if I didn't know where she went? Okay, there you are. So cruel. I don't know where most of you go because you're all insignificant. I'm a bit of a dick. Uh, which one's shaped like that? Which one? That one. Damn it. Okay, you look like a glove. I can tell where you go. Whoops. Wrong way. 
Eh. Isn't this exciting for everybody? Me placing puzzle pieces and all that crap. It's exciting, right? Please say no. Please say no. I, I wouldn't be mad. I understand completely how not fun this looks. <laughs> uh, where does this go? There it is. Oh god! Monkey face! God damn it, DK. You're crazy, monkey. Oh, well, I didn't beat my record. And then again, I never expected that I would, because that was kind of a miracle that I got that the first time. I also cheated a little bit by pausing frequently. You just gotta memorize it in your head. If you can do that, then you can probably figure it out. Oh! Almost under three! Damn it! Fair enough. But we all got that weird-looking power star of small eyes. We know you're not what we asked for, you bitch! So I guess I'm a puzzle pacemaker, if you put it that way. Oh, God! Jerry Journeyman! I'm not a man! Yeah, 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 who cares? Okay, before we go to the last one, let's do this one one more time. I just want one door! I want one door! Please! Just give me a door. That's all I ask for. I swear, if I get the first one wrong again, this game's just being a dick. Woo! I got it! So yeah, that's how it works. You just hit a door, and hope that Bowser doesn't come running through like that. Wow, he loves that right door. So don't pick the right door anymore, is probably what I should think of. God damn it. I think the most I've ever gotten on that is seven. It's hard to get far in that. This guy is really lucky. That's like save stage probably could be good for. Oh yeah. Ding dong ditcher. Now that's actually a logical answer. Ding dong ditcher. You go through one door and then you're done. Okay. So the last extra game, once you complete story mode, I believe, or play all the bo yeah. You have this. Select him. And you have to put up with Beach Volley Folly! This is 2 on 2 volleyball. Return the ball to three volleys. The first team to get five points wins. They improved on this mini game and continue to put it in Mario Party 5. If you have a moving button, hit the ball and jump. If you know how to play volleyball, this makes sense. You have a battle mode where you have to battle through a whole bunch of teams. Beat that, you get free mode, and you can play however you want. Which, I'm not going to do this, but you have your choice of eight characters and the teams you would fight in the story mode. In the dual battle mode. Sorry. Toad and Shy Guy, Boo and Koopa, and Koopa Kid and Bowser. Look at that. Look at that exciting face he has. They all have their icons here. Almost all these characters become playable at some point, except for Bowser. Yeah, look at that. Boo, Toad, and Koopa Kid all become playable in Mario Party 5 and kick out DK, dicks. Actually, I don't think Koopa ever becomes playable. I know Shy Guy does at some point. And, well, Bowser does not 10, so technically he does. Anyway, I'll try to go through battle modes as best I can. If there's any advice I have to give you, this is hard, so... Pick your faithful, and put your computer on the highest difficulty possible, because if you don't, they will suck. Remember, this is your team. It doesn't affect the opposing team, just your team. So you want to be a high difficulty. Your first three matches are against the other two, two of the other six remaining computers at random. Of course, their teams, you know, you'll never fight the same opponent twice, but yeah. So the way this works... Press A to hit, and B to jump. You can try to block like that, be a cheap little asshole, and really just be a complete jerk about the way you play. Just hope your teammate backs you up. Use the control stick to control your aim when you're hitting. So that way, 
That's what that cursor is. Holy crap, nice hit, Mario. I didn't think you'd do that. The most times you get the ball on your side is three. You choose to deflect it to do it in one hit, jump after the first bounce to do it for the second hit, or you just do a plain hit over if you don't want to jump for the third hit, which why would you do that? It's really easy. Also, there is no deuce like you might think in this. It's the first to five. There's no if it goes to four, you have to get the first to be in the lead by two or whatever. It's just be the first to five. And that's all there is to this. I'll just show you how intense this can get. This is what you have to go through. You have to beat all of this in order to both unlock free mode and get the item in the present room. For the minigame room. And, well, you can't lose once. If you lose once, you gotta start the entire thing over. That's what makes this difficult. That's what makes me hate it a good bit. Because it's kind of frustrating. Oh, dick. Oh, yeah, and you can, uh, if you're moving and you press hit, if you're not close enough to the ball, you'll die. So, you have a way to save the ball. It won't be a good hit, but... Mario, you stood right where it was! That's not to say the computers on the highest difficulties always do a great job, but... I guess they do what they can. Oh, you can get out, so try not to do that. Again, if you know how volleyball works, well, you would know how this works. It's pretty simple, actually. Oh, shit. Sorry, Mario, I keep fucking up. Come on! Sorry! Oh, man, come on, boy! I got it, we win. Bam! I was waiting to cough that whole time. I didn't want to distract me from the match, though. Yeah, that's two, Mario! You're my bee! What the? I don't think that's how that term works, bitch! Oh, God! Why is my bitch with that weird lanky guy? Don't call me lanky. I can kick your ass any day. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Should I talk about my Mario sports games things now? Probably not. <laughs> not that it's a planned project. Oh, that's something to talk about. Well, since this is the last bonus episode of this, I may as well mention, uh... Hey! I got another hardcore project for the Sideshow Saturdays. So yeah, we're gonna see another, uh, hardcore game come up. Oh, Mario, why would you stay up here with me, you dick? So yeah, we're not gonna get another thing like a Mario Party story mode or something like that. I'm honestly getting to the point where I'm just starting to think of making a Saturday as another another LP day, because I'm running out of this side stuff to do. Oh, Mario, my man! Yeah! So yeah, be, be excited for that. It's one I'm actually looking very forward to. And yes, I know what it's going to be. So there you go. Also, how many of you are surprised that Skies of Arcadia Legends isn't done yet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's still not done. I can't believe it. This is the first project, the first single game since Metroid Prime 3 to take me over half a year of airing time to complete. Then again, Metroid Prime 3 went once a week. Skies of Arcadia Legends is going three times a week. It's nuts! It's nuts! But I promise that will be done soon. I wouldn't count on there being a Halloween project this year, because, well... Oh, God! I just don't think I need to be in that spirit anymore. I think I should just do my own thing. I mean, I guess I could do a Castlevania game if I had one, but... Eh. Coda's done pretty much all of them. At least the main series ones, and you know... I hate to say this right now, but... I find Symphony Night a little overrated! That's only from seeing it! I haven't played it, so I could be wrong in that assumption, but... Oh no! Compared to Metroid... Oh, got out. 
better Metroid, I just don't see it as fun as, well, Metroid games. I might have another Metroid game in the future, but it's very unlikely. So, I don't know what to think about that. I'm gonna go to the back! Mario, you dick! You threw me off! Ass! Fine, screw them! Ugh. By the way, whatever happens next, I just know whatever I play, I'll be enjoying, hopefully. Thankfully, all the blind games I've played, I've enjoyed, which is nice. It's nice when you haven't played a game, but you decide to play it just for kicks, and it actually turns out to be good. The only one that I thought might not have been like that, YES, was the Xbox Ninja Gaiden. Which, by the way, I did learn that, uh, in case you're anybody looking for a one-year update, that, um, playing the NES Ninja Gaiden games on that, apparently it's a known flaw of the playing it on the 360 that it doesn't work. If you try on the original Xbox, though, it would work. The only person that I knew that had that was Nordiper. Because I don't have an original Xbox anymore. Even if I did, I'm sure it's, it would probably be broken at this point. I only have... I only have... A couple 360s and an Xbox One, so... Unfortunately, I'm not granted that kind of good privilege. Here you go! Yeah, there you go, my man! My man! Oh, God. Here you go! I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Talking about the sa sh Saturday thing, talking about Skies of Arcadia Legends. It is ending soon! Skies of Arcadia Legends is ending soon. For those of you who haven't paid attention to that, that game is... Well, I'm pretty sure it's entering its final stretch. So, I haven't recorded it by this time, so... Yeah. Well, by the time I recorded this. I can't reveal Oh, you're a dick, boo. You're a dick. Oh, man. Sorry, Mario. Didn't mean to steal your thunder like that. Oh, man. We're, we're wrecking them. We're wrecking them. Dang, I don't remember if I had expert computers when I did this last time. I think I only had one hard. Oh, shit! Oh, wow. They got me good there. Shit. Oh, man. Sorry, Mario. Oh, I couldn't jump for it. What the hell? Oh, come on, Mario. We have this. We have this. Take him down. How come it works when you do it? Oh, yeah. It's better if you jump at the last second and then throw your reticle off immediately and then hit it. That's the best strategy to have for this. You have to do that jump shot because the regular shot, well, it never works. You pretty much gave it right to them in the center. And this one's, this match is the bane of my existence. I've lost to this one a lot of times, which really frustrated me. You know how long it took me to beat this when I was doing this on my own? Just to get the free mode unlocked and to get all those plates? Probably an entire hour. Now maybe it's easier because I have an expert computer, but that's beside the point. Yeah, somehow you didn't hit that. I don't know how, but you didn't. That was so big. That's not fair, man. I hate that so much. Oh! Okay, good thing you hit it. Oh, man. That was so big. It's so hard to get around. That was clearly yours. That was clearly your shot. I don't know what made you think otherwise. Oh, God. Why did you give it right back to them? Oh, man. I got it. Wow. I can't believe managed to nail that like that. No, Bowser, get out of here. Ah! Why did I shoot it directly at him? Can you see why I hate this match? Yes! Oh, I'll be so proud if I can win this on recording. For my, for my single time doing this for... My recording. If I can, yeah! Oh, if I can win this, I'll be so happy. If I can show this off. 
Oh, come on, baby. Yeah! Oh, we're one point away! Come on, Mario! Come on! Let's end this last bonus part on a great note! Come on, Mario! End it! Oh, we're so close! Yeah! Woo! Oh, I am so happy about that! Champion! Yeah! Whew, you have no idea how happy that makes me. Oh, that's that's the greatest feeling. Oh, I actually won! Daisy and Mario are the winners! Congrats! You do that, you unlock free mode and get that plate. Woo! I actually did it! Holy crap! Oh, yes! I'm so happy! Oh my god! I can't believe I pulled that off! Woo! Yeah, baby! With that, there's nothing else to show off! Everything is done! Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned that Party Star Trophy in the present room? I didn't mention it, but it's probably obvious. You get that if you get everything in the present room. All the story mode stuff and the minigame stuff. Do that, you get the Party Star Trophy. <laughs> the one that you don't care much for. In case you're wondering about why this Daisy thing is here, I was going to do the story mode a second time, but... with Daisy, but apparently... there's a spoiler involved where, um... All the items you got with them in story mode the previous time, stick around! So it would have been a spoiler for what you get in the room. I didn't want that. Even though there wasn't much left, you would have seen the Bowser item. It would have gotten rid of the suspense of that. <laughs> By the way, whoo! What a high note to end it on. I'm so happy for that. So, that was Mario Party 4. Pretty much everything you need to see in the game. So next, so next time for Saturdays, we'll be doing another fun game. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to do it. I'll just give you a hint. Probably my favorite shooter of all time. But you'll see it then. So see you next time for the fun of the hardcore hell.